हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड सैंपलिंग थ्योरम नाइक्विस्ट रेट एंड एलियासिंग फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज सैंपलिंग ए बैंड लिमिटेड एनालॉग सिग्नल कैन बी सैंपल्ड एंड परफेक्टली रिकंस्ट्रक्टेड फ्रॉम इट्स सैंपल्स if the sampling frequency is at least twice the maximum frequency of base band signal that is fs should be greater than or equal to 2 fm so we can define sampling theorem as if we consider an analog signal it can be sampled and perfectly reconstructed from its samples if the sampling frequency is at least twice the maximum frequency of the base band signal which means if we consider a base band signal as an example as you can see here if the maximum frequency of this base band signal is fm at that case the sampling frequency should be greater than or equal to twice the maximum frequency of base band signal now let us understand nyquist rate the nyquist rate is the minimum rate at which a signal can be sampled without introducing any error so the nyquist rate is the minimum rate at which a signal can be sampled without introducing any error so here what we are doing by using sample a continuous analog signal is converted into discrete signals so to obtain a discrete signal the gap between samples should be fixed this gap between samples is known as sampling period that is ts so from this sampling period we can obtain sampling frequency fs is equal to 1 by ts here the sampling rate denotes the number of samples taken per second to convert an analog signal into a discrete signal the gap between samples should be fixed so we need to fix the gap between the samples so the gap between the samples are known as sampling period from this sampling period we can obtain sampling frequency by taking the inverse of sampling period so here sampling rate denotes the number of samples that are taken per second so the number of samples that are taken per second denotes the sampling rate we know sampling rate fs should be greater than or equal to 2 fm for example if we consider a sinusoidal signal with the frequency fm is equal to 1 hertz at that case if we take fs is equal to fm sampling frequency will be equal to 1 hertz so at 1 hertz we will get the samples so which means we will get a sample here we will get a sample at this point and we will get a sample at this point so we obtain the values as 0 0 0 and 0 so using these samples we can't reconstruct the analog signal so it will be very much difficult if we consider fs is equal to 2 fm at that case sampling frequency fs will be equal to 2 hertz so after sample we'll obtain the sample at this point we'll obtain sample at this point here we'll obtain a sample at this point we'll obtain a sample so like this we will obtain the sample again we will get the sampling values as 0 0 0 0 0 0 and 0 so again using these samples we can't reconstruct a analog signal so that's why always we need to keep the sampling frequency fs as greater than 2 fm so if we keep fs is greater than 2 fm at that case we will obtain sample somewhere here we will obtain a sample here we will obtain a sample here we will obtain sample at these points so likewise we will obtain the samples 
as you can see we are getting some intermediate values as well so from these sampling values we can easily reconstruct the analog signal so these are the samples which we have obtained when we keep fs is greater than 2 efm so from these samples we can easily reconstruct the original analog signal so that's why sampling is very much important now let us understand aliasing aliasing is an effect of sampling that causes different signals to become indistinguishable due to aliasing the signal reconstructed from samples may become different than the original analog signal the aliasing will occur when sampling frequency is less than 2 fm so aliasing can be avoided when fs is greater than 2 fm so aliasing is an effect of sampling that causes different signal to become an indistinguishable which means due to aliasing the signal that is reconstructed from samples may become different than the original signal so due to aliasing the signal that are reconstructed from the samples may become different than the original analog signal so aliasing will occur when fs is less than 2 fm so we can avoid aliasing by taking fs greater than 2 fm also we can avoid aliasing by applying low pass filter or anti aliasing filter to input signal before sampling by sampling the signal at a higher frequency so which is fs should be greater than 2 fm using this we can avoid aliasing aliasing can also be avoided by applying low pass filter or anti aliasing filter to the input signal before sampling and also by sampling the signal at higher frequency we can avoid the effect of aliasing which means we need to consider fs should be greater than 2 fm this is about sampling theorem nyquist rate and aliasing hope you have understood the topic thank you